Hello guys, it's Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you the £400 gaming PC for 2016. For this build is £400, you are getting the AMD FX6300 processor, that is a 6 core running at 3.5GHz with a turbo of 4.1GHz, and then for the GPU we are grabbing an MSI 950, that is a 2 gig card with uh, 768 CUDA cores, which to be honest, that is going to get you some pretty solid gaming at 1080p. You're going to be able to play many games, including say Battlefield 4 or Battlefield Hardline, they're typically first person shooters are typically the higher end type of games that require a little bit more horsepower from say a system. As always I just want to say this these are kind of the parts that I would personally choose if I were if I were building a PC at this price point and one thing I do want to say as well is that I am guaranteeing compatibility of all these parts. That's kind of the point of these series. For you guys that do know how to build a PC but are not too sure on kind of what parts to choose at a given price point. Anyway, let's kind of get into it, and um, yeah, let me guys show you what I've chose for the £400 gaming PC. To get started for the CPU, we're going to be grabbing the AMD FX6300. This chip is a 6 core, hence a 6 in the product name, and runs at a frequency of 3.5GHz with a turbo frequency of 4.1GHz when temperatures permit. Now, this CPU runs on the socket AM3 Plus and is rated at 95W TDP. This is plenty fast for this build and should even allow some flexibility for upgrading the GPU to, say, GTX 960 or 970 in the future if wanted. Moving on to the motherboard, we're going to be grabbing the Gigabyte SKT-AM3 78LMT-USB3. Now this board is only a mere £40 and to be honest, don't let that fool you. This packs support for the FX6300 CPU mentioned and has support for many higher end CPUs on this platform. Now this board supports up to 32 gigs of RAM via 4 DIMM slots and has support for many expansion cards featuring a PCI Express Times 16 and Times 1 slot as well as a single PCI slot for legacy cards. As support, this motherboard has support for 6 SATA 3 gigabit ports, features 4 USB 2 ports as well as 4 USB 3 ports. And moving swiftly onto the RAM for this build, I've opted to go with 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX Fury memory. All memory these days is pretty solid and this series of memory has been tested by myself in a couple of builds already and overall is pretty damn solid. Now the speed of this memory is 1600 MHz with a cast latency of 10. Overall a good choice and solid for £28. Many other colour options are available for £1 or £2 more. As for storage, we're going to be picking up a standard 1TB hard drive from Seagate. I've got a couple of these in my machine already, as mentioned before, and overall do work very, very well for the price. Main specs include 1TB capacity, 7200 RPM spin speed, and 64MB of that good old cache. Moving on to the most exciting part of this build, the GPU. For this build, I've opted to go for the GeForce GTX 950. This white MSI variant of the card features 2GB of VRAM and 768 cores running at a base frequency of 1076MHz with a boost of 1253MHz when temperatures allow. As for the outputs, this card features a single display port and HDMI connector and two DVI ports, one being DVI-I and the other DVI-D. Moving on to the case, I've chosen the Fractal Design Core 1100. Now this is a compact micro ATX case in black. Now as for the features and also the design, this case does feature a 120mm fan in the front with dust filters and can support an additional one on the side with support for an 92mm in the back. Now as for storage, this case can support up to two conventional 3.5 inch hard drives, three SSDs or one of each thanks to the vertical metal bracket. Now the front panel has a brushed aluminium look and features both USB 3 and 2 port in addition to the standard HD audio connectors. Graphic card clearance is 35cm in length, CPU cooler clearance is 14.8cm in height and pass by clearance is up to 18.5cm if a typical length optical drive is mounted. Now lastly onto the power supply we'll be grabbing the Corsair CX500. This is a very popular series from Corsair and does deliver great efficiency thanks to its bronze certification and its 120mm fan. Now this power supply comes with all the connectors needed for this build including four 4 pin peripheral connectors, two PCI Express connectors and five SATA connectors. So guys, there are the parts I chose for the £400 gaming PC. This build, as mentioned, does contain the GTX 950. Fair enough, it's not as powerful as the 960, but you are getting a lot more value versus the £300 system. This build will give you some very good performance in 1080p gaming, and in you know, just in general, you are going to get some good frame rates and some good visual quality out of a lot of games, including, say, first-person shooters like Battlefield 4 or, say, Battlefield Hardline. Just want to mention again, these builds do guarantee compatibility, and if anything they are tuned for gaming yeah the system is tuned for gaming so that this kind of the end of the video i will have links in the description for amazon uk and us and if anything guys thank you very much for watching and um yeah if you guys want to like or comment or even subscribe you can do so and now i catch you guys in the next video goodbye